hello and welcome back to episode 3 of Prussia in Victoria 3, where we're now playing as the North German Federation in Victoria 3. Um, I am planning on attempting to launch our leadership play soon. Uh, Schleswig and Holstein are on Austria's side, but Russia's on mine, so it doesn't matter. And we do have some support here. I am going to start improving with the Italians. Maybe we can get the Italians to help us. And maybe even the Ottomans. So we can spread the love a little bit. I think that would be very helpful for us. The Austrians are currently dealing with an uprising. So that's good for us too. Money-wise, we're doing pretty good. We have our books pretty balanced. We did just build a bunch of construction centers at the end of the last episode. I do want to push for the German leadership soon, but uh, we'll see how soon we can do that. These guys are puppeting Schleswig, so... What are they currently to them? They're currently in a personal union, so they want to swap that to a puppet. That's fine. I don't think I have a need to really help them out. They should be able to handle this themselves. Basically, I just need to watch and see if anyone joins it that's on my border. But I think we should be okay. So overall, we're just trying to keep our market balance. We are currently researching quite a few military technologies. And probably once I get hand crank machine guns is when I'm going to launch the, uh, the play. So... That is currently my plan. I could go for a defensive pact with Sweden. My one worry with that is that would it uh, cause me issues with the Russians? Because they did puppet Denmark. I'm also considering what we could do down here. Like I could probably go for like a puppet on Benin or even a conquest against them. We're pretty good on our um yeah, pretty good on our oh yeah I'm definitely going to do this uh infamy at the moment so that isn't really a concern I'm just going to send one unit down here to start they will make their way down there hopefully no one major decides to get involved so we'll keep an eye on this see if anyone's gonna jump in I don't think they will um, hmm. now nah, let's let's do that that'll be fine So nobody joined them, so we shouldn't have much issue taking this land either. Yeah, we're gonna decimate them, so that's not really a concern. I don't even think I really need to watch that war. Looks like this one up here has wrapped up pretty fast. Liberia offers a war goal to German leadership if we back them in the ongoing diplomatic play. Okay, who are you currently in a dip diplomatic play against? France and Austria? I do not think so. Are they allied? They are, so oof. I didn't see who that was. Who did I make resign? George von Gortz. Okay, that's fine. As long as it's not Otto von Bismarck, I'm happy. I'd like to keep Bismarck around as long as possible. There we go. We have conquested Benin. That is another state under our control. Probably go for Oyo at some point. Let's go ahead and push a colony down this direction as well. 
and we are working on one over here also, so that is good. I could go ahead and upgrade my colonial institution again, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And also, let's make sure that all of our factories are doing as much as they possibly can, so... Yeah, we can do that too. Bone China, yes please. Pretty much only activating things that it's estimating are going to give me positive income. I don't want to rely on that too much, but I think it is a good way to go. I mean, that's only a little bit, but it'll be fine. Definitely want the market square. We definitely want the gas street lights. Realist art. I don't think that's really worth switching up at this point. Standardized filing system we definitely would like. And then rural. Get some harvesting tools going for them. We can help out the slaughterhouses. We're doing good on all of that. Fishing wharves. Privately owned with fishing trawlers should be fine. And then... Still no silk, huh? Silk is one thing I would really like to get my hands on at some point. But I'm not sure how long that's going to take. Arts Academy throughput towards the camera or political strength capitalist. Let's go with the technology boost. Anything to research our text a little bit faster. Insufficient taxation capacity in Saxony. Um, so we are building up them government administrations. That should help quite a bit. North Rhine, let's get... We got those building as well, so we're good there too. Actually building quite a few private constructions as well. So that is nice for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade education. We can't really do... We could get the industrialists in government. Yeah, let's bring in the industrialists. That should give us some more options here. Like, we could swap to laissez-faire economics. We could swap to an oligarchy. I feel like an oligarchy is a lot better than a autocracy. Uh, national supremacy pop support. Yeah, we'll do that. Or maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Um, we could go for private health insurance. We could also swap to private schools. I don't think I want to do that though. I like having public schools. No social security. We don't want to mess with that yet. Free trade. Nah, not quite yet there. Maybe I will swap to an oligarchy. Yeah, let's do it. I feel like oligarchy is just better. The Junkers want us to preserve the autocracy, but I don't think too many other people are down for that. Uh, if we take a look at our infamy, it is dying off slowly but surely, so that's good. We'll be able to go after like Oyo or something soon. And that would be another state in Africa, which would be nice. 17.5 infamy there as well. The French are colonizing Guinea. We've passed autocracy, or oligarchy, so... We can get an extra person in our government. And I think getting in the petit bourgeoisie... Could be interesting, could give us quite a few more options to go for. Yeah, 
Yeah, not really looking at anything major that I'm liking, but it definitely did very upper laws. Downsizing non-government buildings, capital shopkeepers. I think I'm going to try and push laissez-faire economics through since we are running a deficit at this point anyway. Still struggling with our loyalists versus our radicals, but we should be able to get that taken care of soon-ish. Uh, if we look at this... We would have to contest with France and Austria. So we're going to need quite a few more on the uh, yeah, quite a few more on the side of the army okay, we got laissez-faire economics through and boom our economy is looking better so we already had some barracks building. I'm going to go ahead and just build up another crop of them. I know they're expensive, but... Yeah, more men is going to be helpful. Especially if we have to fight France, too. I can't get multiple alliances, but hopefully I can persuade a couple people to help me get this uh, German leadership bid through. So I definitely do want to push for that. Quite a few upset pops about the laws that I passed, but I really don't care what they're thinking. Uh, Ottoman offers war gold ban slavery to back them in the ongoing diplomatic play. So... Support the radical movement. No, we want to support... Let's support the conservatives. So this is... The Ottomans conquering a province from the Spanish. No, I don't care enough to do that. For an obligation, maybe, but for a um Yeah, for banning slavery, I don't think so. So, I've been considering passing one of these soon, so... Mobilize 161 battalions, more conscription rate. Secret police would give us... Revolution, secession, progress, speed, political movement, radicalism. I'm going to try and get the National Guard passed. And then here... We'll try and push down the rural folk. These guys are a little irritated, but hopefully they'll calm down. We have nine years to deal with all of this. So France is already helping them in that war. Turns become insurrectionary. We want to kind of stop that. Revolution is still teetering, but not pushing anything yet. Try and push down the revolutionaries. Let's 
get some more government administration built in Saxony. Benin is in turmoil, huh? Yeah, that's fine. We can we can uh, address that issue. I'm going to go ahead and do some violent suppression down in Benin. Hopefully we can get them pushed down a little bit. Yeah, I would like to pass the National Guard, so let's keep pushing for that. Looks like our revolution quelled itself, so that is good. Military statistics is going to be really nice. Nah, we don't want a radical character in charge of the industrialists. Wow, our government already lost quite a bit of its... Acceptance. Lowering taxes would cause us quite a detriment to our... Income as well, so... Keep on pushing those guys down. Dangerous equipment. We don't want to slow down production in here. Man, they just keep on coming. Holstein still supports them, but it doesn't really matter. Offers us a war goal to German leadership if we back them in an ongoing diplomatic play. No. So how is the Russian military looking? They're pretty good. We're the number two military. Austria is number four. France is a little farther down there as well. The biggest issue is going to be getting other entities involved. They have a Polish uprising also. I still can't launch this. We're going to need to recruit more generals, so... So if we're doing this, and we're going to promote a couple of these guys. One more here, I think. And the rest of those being in reserve is fine. So, I mean, we could launch like the full force of our army. The problem is going to be pushing on Austria. How's our navy looking? We're up to 30 ships. I 
guess we'll take you. And I can go ahead and promote you. And then I do kind of want to... Expiring obligations. North German obligation expiring. With Baden. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and bankroll Italy for a little bit. And I'm also going to... Yeah, I think getting Italy involved would be worth our time, and it's worth burning through a little bit of money. Also look to conquer Congo. Still don't want a radical in charge of the industrialist. No, we do not. We've unlocked ironclads. It just means life gets harder now, though, because we need to build other stuff. We need to build other uh, assets. We need steam trawlers and whatnot. What if I just go through and put like one of my shipyards onto steamships? Steamships, civilian shipbuilding, you can go onto reinforced wooden ships with extensive military shipbuilding. We could do the Conquer River Expedition, but I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. Still trying to avoid revolutionaries. They can know of his depravity, and I am not enacting agrarianism. That is nuts. Y'all are nuts if you want me to enact agrarianism. Mm, we already got the angry trade unions, so let's avoid angering them greater. Could push for private health insurance. That would at least help somewhat. And the industrialists like it, so let's go ahead and do that. Would really like to get a uh, obligation on Italy. Because if I could call Italy in too, that would help us out even more. Rubber rush. It's fine. How's our market doing? Dyes are super expensive. So let's build some dye. Uh, we should switch this over as well. Build up a couple more dye plantations. There we go, that should solve that problem to some extent. We don't want radical props in Brandenburg, so. Fine pushing them off to somewhere else. Revolution's still not much of an issue. Hmm. Austria is still building up their army. So I will continue to do the same. We are working towards getting some more of these techs done. Keep trying to get this to pass.
Yeah, I think once I have an obligation with the Italians, that's going to be the, like, real go point. And enters in the intelligentsia, huh? That's why my king died. Okay, I was trying to figure out what happened to our oligarchy. It was working so well. <laughs> Come on. Come on, get me an obligation. It's all that I want. Steel frame buildings. Some would let us upgrade our construction sectors. Hmm. Almost double our construction. Sure. We're going to be in a lot of trouble money-wise, though, but keep pushing up the enactment success chance. Steam donkey. I don't really think we need the steam donkey, though. We have plenty of people, so maybe later we'll use it. and build one more of these in Silesia as well. Alright, that's not... We're going to stop that. It's too expensive. Alright. So yeah, we'll build up some more barracks. We're going to let a lot of these private constructions just work their way out now since we're not really paying for them anyway. Alright, there's another law passed. And we're still doing good on our bureaucracy. Other than that, we don't want to lower taxes at all. I would kind of like to go to total separation. Just weaken the church. You know, let's give it a let's give it a shot. If these guys are still fluctuating. But yeah, overall, pretty good shape. Outside of the 4.81 million radicals, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Uh, here we should be able to upgrade those guns. Uh, covered markets, we would have a shortage of steel, though. We'll get those taken care of at some point. So we'll go to repeating rifles. And I'm gonna throw more steel mills on here. Uh, Rhineland or Brandenburg. We'll go to Rhineland, I guess. Still trying to avoid the revolutionaries. Check uprising, huh? Yeah, so I think while that's going on, I'm not allowed to launch a diplomatic play. They really need to fix that issue that you can't, like, launch your own diplomatic play when someone else is in one. That's kind of cheesy, I think. So these guys have calmed down. The church is a little irritated with this, but these guys are calming down, so that's good. We'll need to see what happens here. They should take care of the Czech uprising pretty quickly. Let's 
keep focused on the military and just see. I mean, I've got more battalions than Austria, so they have a bigger navy, though. Maybe that's something else I should do is build up my navy. But, um, yeah, I think West Prussia. Ugh. I think that's a good place to end this episode. So if you liked the episode, I would appreciate a like. If you really liked it, I would appreciate a subscription. And I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.